Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this video, we are going to see about what is automation. Before going to the topic, please like and subscribe our channel. Let's enter into the topic. So what is automation? So there is no need of explanation, right? Even a kid know what is automation nowadays. Because in our home, we are using more automated devices. Example, you can say induction stove and uh, automatic washing machine. Like that, we can find more devices around us, right? Fine. So, in simple, what we can call as automation? It is a self-dictated system. You can see the word automation gives the meaning self-dictating or a mechanism moved by itself move by itself or operating according to the program we have done right so the auto and matos means auto means a self and a matos means moving it is a greek word and they have combined these two to make the word called automation so why we have introduced automation mainly to replace the human operators and to you know to improve the safety and obviously to increase the production right so let's move on to the history of automation so automation was highly popularized in 1910s and 1920s so there was a huge you know need of automated devices in the world war time so that's the you know the requirement of automation was more than those time so that's what it was introduced and it was used widely in that era and you can see in collaboration with the general motors automation department was introduced in 1947 and the plc the first PLC before it was calling as PLC it was called as 084 and we are we are going to see about this PLC and uh, uh, you know the usage in the later classes but whenever it comes to automation a PLC is playing a vital role which is called as you know programmable logic controller so we'll see more about PLC in our later classes and uh, let's move on to the types of automation so as I have already you already uh, you know discussed about the devices what and all we are used in home will come under a home automation and the second one is building automation like the automation we have introduced in the building like elevators you know lift and all and we have a industrial automation and a process automation public transport automation where you can uh, find the example like traffic light control these are all come under a public transport automation and uh, the last one is uh, scientific automation obviously for all our research and development we are using automated kits right so let's move on to the benefits of industrial automation so why we are going to study about this industrial automation because the main invention of automation is for the industry right because the production we want to increase the production right so industries are our, are our backbone so obviously you can find more automation usage in the industry and in our course we are going to study more about this industrial automation and here and there we will find some examples for home automation and building automation so what is industrial automation so the device or the system which we are going to implement in the industry to increase a production to ensure the safety and to replace the human operators and as as we have already discussed you can see the benefits of industrial automation here so to increase the precision, to improve the product quality, to reduce periodic and manual checking. This is very, very important because 
if you put a human operator obviously there will be a human error but if you put a machine over there we can reduce the error but obviously to make that machine we want a human that's a different case so to increase the consistency out consistency in output also we require a machine so these are all the very basic benefits of industrial automation now let's move on to the history of automation so how it evolved so there was a time where we were using only manual control right for example let's take a, a boiler over there and uh, you have a, a you know temperature controller or a temperature indicator over the boiler let's take a temperature indicator so according to the temperature value you are going to control the flow of water inside the boiler if the boiler is reading high temperature you need to increase the flow of water high if the temperature is getting low you need to decrease the flow of the water so there was a time we used to control this system manually so operator have to be near the boiler and he have to continuously monitor the temperature indicator to get the value and according to that he will change the flow of water so th there was a time we were controlling uh, you know temperature using a manual control so in this case you can find more disadvantages right first thing the accuracy is very less right and safety is also matters when we are putting a human over a high temperature boiler i mean nearer to the high temperature boiler so these are all the cases which you know push the man to invent something which will reduce these kind of insecurities in the industries right so there was uh, one step above the manual control there was a pneumatic control so we were controlling the system using air pressure and then comes a hard wire logic control which is nothing but a relay relay control so next is electronic control which used a logic you know digital devices and over that we have a plc and dcs control so in in each step we found more advantages and more disadvantages so as we have already discussed we found more disadvantages in the manual control that's what we jumped to the pneumatic control then we found more disadvantages over that and we moved to the hardwire and if you see the hardwire there was a relay control system if you see a hardwire relay it is having multiple wires you need to connect each and every logic using the wire fine so if you want to troubleshoot it will be a big big headache for the operator to find out where is the fault so this made a engineer to move to the electronic control where we used some digital logic gates to perform the operation so then we move to the plc and dcs control so let's see more about this plc in our later classes so but in industrial automation this plc and dcs are playing a major role right so that's in our top uh, you know it's in the tree stop and next we have industrial automation devices so what is this what are the uh, you know components or devices we are going to use it in the industrial automation so first thing is field instruments so let's take the same boiler example so i want to measure what is the temperature of the boiler right so for that i need a instrument which is used to measure the process variable so here the temperature is the process variable so i'll be using some temperature sensor or transmitter or a transducer to measure the 
temperature so that is the field instruments the instruments which are used in used for using for the measurements that is a field instrument and by using this field instruments what how we are going to control so we want some controller right for example if a temperature is going above 90 i want to increase the flow of the water that's what our example that's what our case right so in this example to control the flow i need to write a program inside the controller so those type of controller are our controller hardware you can see a plc dcs or pid device or in cnc so where i'm going to write the logic those are called as a controller so that will be having a hardware and also your software right and the last one is a control software which is called as SCADA supervisory control and data acquisition system which is used to monitor what is happening in the field so it's like a visual or you know you can call it as a virtual uh, you know devices in the software where you can uh, in a in an industry you can you can uh, find a control room in one place and a field in some other place in control room by sitting in a control room itself you can monitor what is happening in the field like a cctv camera in the shopping hall that's a simple example for our uh, you know layman understanding and uh, that's it about the introduction of automation and the industrial automation so this is again uh, automation installation procedure so whatever we have seen in the previous slides no field instruments control hardware control software it will having this flow a sensor placed in a field and all the sensors and the wires will be connected to the junction box and we are getting all the signals from the junction box to the cabinet where we will be having our controller and IO modules so from that we will be getting a signal to the SCADA or HMI and you can find the picture of the field instruments over here which is giving all the signals to the field box and we are collecting all the signals from field box, field box to the marshalling cabinet and from there we will be giving signal to our controller which is a system cabinet and from there we are going to watch or monitor even we can control also from the workstation which is nothing but our HMI or SCADA right so I hope you have understand the basics of automation and industrial automation if you like this session please like and subscribe our channel which will motivate us to do more in industrial automation course. Thank you so much.